All right, so we drove all the way down here to, I think we're in Cocoa Beach. We're just north of the pier. We're at, uh, what's the name of this damn place? We're at Jetty Park in Cocoa Beach, in the Cocoa Beach area. I don't know if we're actually Cocoa Beach or uh, Canaveral or where we are, but we came down for the shuttle launch tonight. We're supposed to go up at 7.02 and literally two minutes before the shuttle went up, I got a notification on Twitter from SpaceX saying that the shuttle launch got delayed until 9.02. So, wife and son went back to the car to kind of warm up. It's a little bit cool down here right now. Luckily, the wind isn't bad at all. I'm able to hopefully record with this mic and get some decent audio. So since I had a little bit of time, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, get some video rolling, uh, try out the light, try out the mic, see how things look, and uh, see how well this video turns out recording at nighttime. So. We've got a nice little pier uh, right here behind us here at Jetty Park, and we were thinking about going out and shooting from the pier. We didn't really have much of a foreground element there. There's an inlet that goes in right there, and we passed a whole bunch of cruise ship uh, looking uh, areas back there towards 95 when we were coming in. What was really cool was it's right after we got the cameras set up, the, the moon started coming up just towards the end of the uh, pier right there. Got a couple good shots. We'll see how they turn out. I tried a couple different things something I've never tried before a lot of people think that shooting the moon is difficult it's actually very easy you can do it handheld at night because the moon is so bright uh, where it's difficult is when you're shooting like wide angle in order to properly expose the rest of your frame you need a longer shutter speed but with the moon uh, when you're exposed with a long shutter speed it just looks like this bright white ball it's completely overexposed if it turned out well you're gonna see it right now if it didn't I guess better luck next time. <laughs> My hope is for, for this, I've got the, the Z6 II with the 20 millimeter 1.8 prime on there. I'm gonna have that running video when the shuttle launches. It should be coming up just over my right shoulder here a little bit, and it's supposed to take a northeastern track and kind of head out in this direction here. So what our hope was, was that we would be able to catch it coming out of the launch pad and up and over the pier here and the moon. Uh, the moon's gonna be much higher in the sky at nine o'clock, so we'll see if that's still the case. Hopefully <laughs> the shuttle doesn't intersect with the moon from, from our perspective, but hey, what can you do? It's, those, are the, those are the conditions we're given, so we'll make the best out of them. Uh, late or middle of last year, late last year, I got a shot a little bit further north of here with one of the piers. I got the, the, the shuttle going up and over the moon, and that shot turned out really cool, so I'm hoping to have something here uh, kind of similar to that and then the main camera over here I've got the Z7 II I'm gonna have the 19 millimeter tilt shift on that so that I can kind of shift that perspective up uh, still maintain a good perspective without that getting that keystone you get from the wide angle lens when you, when you tilt them up towards the sky so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this uh, up here down towards the bottom of the frame and then just have the uh, the rest of the sky and hopefully catch from there. I don't know. We've never shot from this angle or shot from this uh, direction or this specific place, so I'm not quite sure how that arc's going to look. It's really all a crapshoot getting down here and getting everything set up, so I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm hoping all that turns out well. I wasn't planning on shooting any video, so I don't know how much B-roll I'm going to have to throw in here with this. Maybe it'll just be me talking right now, and then I'll chuck in the, the final exposures towards the end here. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that we get something really cool. Hopefully it's something you guys will enjoy. All right, thanks for watching.